Hi it. everybody, I um, am here with Evil <laughs> Client and we are going to do like a feast of all different kinds of stuff. Gel and, I'm not sorry, I'm, not, I'm sorry, um, no water marble and um, foil and stripes and glitter and just fun stuff and all reds and blacks. So I started the tutorial with um, Dazzle, no, with um, Wet n Wild Black and I'm going to do some red and um, gray and I made some real thin black polish and um, just all clear and add a few drops of black and that'll just make it into like a smoky black. And then I took some uh, foil glue and um, it looks like this. You can buy it anywhere um, online and it goes with nail art foil. And foils come all different ways, but um, I put it on half of the nail. So I just wiped it on half the nail and um, when it dries, it'll dry clear so it's already starting to dry so as it dries it's just going to be a clear thing on there and you'll see exactly where it is when I use the foil okay so now I have the foil out and and evil client said that I've never done her seen she's never seen me do this before so I'm doing it for everyone you turn the foil upside down and it comes in strips or in in whatever you buy it okay and then you take any kind of alcohol or acetone or scrub brush and you wipe the back of it and, and clean off all the film so that you get a better bond when you're using it. Now you're gonna see exactly where I put all the glue because it goes right over the side. So that's how you get the foil on there. And that one has a little bit that's not dry yet. So I'm gonna go to this like that and it just kind of rips off. That's not dry yet. that and if you don't get this technique down right away it's okay like it, it comes to you over time now if you get uh, if you accidentally do it too quick and it's not dry yet then wait till it dries and then just go back over and you can go over as many times as you want and it, it'll just take it just fills in and and like everything this is a technique and you're not going to get it all the way the first time like you might get it stuck to the nail somewhere but it gets easy it gets easy so there's that. You can go to uh, dollarnailart.com, I think, and you can get rolls of different colors of foil for a dollar each, and they are, they're awesome. I think they even put me on their website, <laughs> which is awesome. Thank you very much, Dollar Nail Art. And, um, uh, okay, so this one's going to be the water marbling. So let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. So I'm, okay, since I took, I, I got this one and I didn't put it on film. Okay, let's go again. I want to try this again. One thick coat. And I might have a hair in there. Pull that out. A hair in my life? What? Never. Never. <laughs> okay. Black, black, black. Light black. Gray. <clears throat> oh, look at that. What I did that brush. Oops. Whoops. And there we go. All right, let's go to the side, down, up, down, up, down. Then we'll go through. Okay, pull, pull off. There's that hair. Mm -hmm. Got it. <laughs> Wasn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> it was Carl. <laughs> we'll blame the dog. There's that. Okay. Now that this is done. It wasn't long enough to be mine. <laughs> <laughs> nope. You've got quite the, the mane. <laughs> okay. So there's that. Well, even Clive messes around with that mint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get that ready. So this is uh, um, Glam Rock by Inalis Cosmetics, a.k.a. Hollow Glitter. And this is silver glitter that I just bought at the craft store. So I'm going to use a little bit of, um, of textile medium. So uh, my other textile medium was really, really tore up. So I got a new one for you guys because nobody could find it. 
<laughs> but let me show you. I've had this bottle of textile medium for years and years and I've used it forever in nails so you don't need a lot. However, this bottle was only like six or eight bucks I think and it's both the same and, the, and it is exactly what you need in order to mix glitters and, um, and do it <clears throat> for a lifetime. So if you put a few drops on a, on, a, on a lid or whatever, you mix it in with the glitter. Let me zoom in. So you mix it in with the glitter. <clears throat> and what it does is it allows you to put and work with the glitter longer. It doesn't dry up really fast, but you wanna get a lot of a glitter into it, mixed into it. It's about like this consistency. Then I'm gonna go over in this one and mix it into the, the silver glitter. Come on. And then it'll start to like break off and get really thick in the middle. And you're gonna wanna work in the middle area where it's nice and thick with this design. Other designs you just wanna share a little thing that goes over it. But I like this glitter because when it goes into it, it, it gets really shiny. So that being said, I'm gonna use my unicorn, which is the striper. And let me show you, where is it? RobinMosesNailArt.com unicorn it is the striping brush now I don't use my striping brush in a lot of videos because it's it's a tool that you need but when you need it it's so awesome so here I'm gonna touch and then pull the nail and that allows you to get the stripe of glitter on there <clears throat> the second one will show perfectly and if you mix this really really thick you can get it in one swipe, but if you have to do it in two, that's fine. Like like two swipes is great. You can still get a, la a layer on here, right? And while you're learning, it teaches you how much glitter you can put in at a time. So because Christmas is coming, this is a great way to start practicing. <clears throat> so I'm gonna grab more glitter, go over, when it dries, it'll dry uh, clear, and then I'll know how much more to put on it. Okay, so here we go. I have, okay, so now you'll see that these reds are, are more brighter than these reds. So I'm, I've got some Inaz glitter, it's gonna be red, boom. Okay, now I'm gonna go in just barely and tip the red like that. And that will just lighten the red up and make it look, look more red compared to the other one and mix it. And then with that same red, I can go into any crevice that needs it and lighten it up. And it makes, it, it fixes all of the little areas that you want to. If you are a nail tech, I would cover with gel here. And if you are not a nail tech, I would cover with a top coat here. Okay, so now that I have the top coat on, I want you guys to look down. These can stop right now. And this is what it would look like if you look down into them. So if you're having any problems with foiling or anything like that, this is this is a way to stop it all. And, and this is the pretty much the cheapest way. This one's cold still, so it's a little bit. But this is the cheapest way that you can get this kind of look and not have to go into a full gel system. So like, can you do this on natural nails? Probably, but they might peel. Like I, I would, I, I have it on a, a light acrylic, but because it's so light and it's just one coat, I don't have to soak the nails off. It, it pretty much just files off very quickly. So that's, that's what I, I, I don't like to soak nails at all. Like I don't have the patience. So I'll talk about that in other videos, but I'm gonna touch with the, with the thing, and then I'm gonna okay, like that. Um, let me try another one. Okay, I'm gonna touch down on the side. This takes a lot of time to perfect, but it's okay. I'm using my striping brush. Pull the finger like that, and then push, pull up, push, pull up. And it, it really is up to you how much or how little you want to do or if you want to take it off. So if you don't like this and you want to take it off, just take a piece of paper towel, spray it with um, alcohol, 
And then, because you've already top coated and everything's all fixed, it just takes the paint and nothing else. So with alcohol, you can, you can practice this design. So that's why I hope I don't throw this away. Okay, so boom. Then you start again. So, okay, I don't want that. So I go in with the white again and brush, push up. Okay, so you can do that. No, don't like it. Okay, so you just, you just, you can just practice this way. I can't tell you how many thousands of nails I have done like this until I got it the way I wanted it. And so like, this is a very good design to practice on. And if you're running late, you can stop here, top coat, and then that's it. Or you can keep going and you can practice other skills. So I'll meet you back. Okay, now, here we go. Got it. All right, with white for this one. This will be in my winter playlist. So with lines, go in half circles and then dot, dot, dot. And what I'm doing is I'm giving the insinuation that little snowflakes are coming out of the bottom. This was a request by Evil Client. She liked it. It was just a thought. It was a, it was a thought more than a request. Mm -hmm. But they're cute, huh? Yeah, they are. Perfect for winter. Okay, there's this. And a good beginning to the winter season. Oh, it is. It's very happy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I have a ton of different... Um, of different snowflake designs and so whatever one works best for you you can search robin moses snowflakes on youtube or you can um go to my winter playlist and find tons if i didn't describe it perfectly and this one i can i do it different every time so well i teach different every time i try to say stuff that i haven't said before so I'm, I'm putting a, a snowflake actually into the water marble on this one. Okay. And then just kind of through the, through the water marble, I will uh, just give the insinuation again of snowflakes. Look at that. On this one, let me see. I just went in and went through and made a snowflake into out of half of one. And then on these, did the same thing. So when you look at the whole thing, it looks like this. And okay, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't do the extra, the last thing. Okay, lastly, um, just going in, dot, dot, push, 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 pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, push, 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 and like that. And then it goes into a little, some are thinner and some are thicker. And I will finish that. Okay, so here is the fun part. <laughs> There's probably, this probably like, like is a little bit intimidating because there's so many different layers, but really, really, it's really not. You want to put the, the foil on and then top coat and then paint over it. And however you get the glitter on is up to you. And I tried to just, just teach you in as many layers as I could to show you the cheaper way to do it. But I really wanted you to see the end result of this because it is just so shiny. And so it's old school, new school. It's foil and glitter, and yet it's 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 elegant and it's perfect for winter. And I'm so glad that Evil Client made me do red and black because I was like, okay, I kind of want to do blood, but it just Halloween just got over with, and so I I wanted to do foil or something really shiny. So I wanted you guys to see it, and I know that you guys like to see all the angles, and so there it is. And this is just beautiful. Again, again, you can get all of this stuff so super cheap. And if you get red foil um, online on eBay or something, really, it's just 
the the difference between good really expensive foil and cheaper foil is that the back the back of it comes off easier so if you use that little tip you can get the cheaper foils and use it and so anyways um, get brushes join me robinmosesnailart.com or at Robin Moses. I have all that stuff on the side of my uh, videos when I make them so just go there and tell other people about it and I will be back with more Eva client thank you for being my model oh, no problem. they look gorgeous so anyways um, I'll have videos uh, I mean um, pictures up on all my platforms and I'll see you back with more uh, oh and requests in the comment section and Sky's the limit for uh, for Christmas, so yeah, just leave me a comment. Okay, bye guys. Bye. Bye.